Your investigations uncovered that Ard Kadok's advisor, Lady Belaine, is working with the Grey Host, and that she's a vampire. To hide that from me takes great power. Tell me exactly what you heard during Radha Al Saron's conversation with her. With your warning, Ard Kadok can decide what to do with Lady Belaine's advice in the future. As to why they care that Reachfolk gather within the city, I'll need to think about that. Did you hear anything else of significance during their exchange? Rodder tried to use dwarven devices once, but nothing came of it. Interesting. As I toured the city, I met Nolivan. He works with dwarven scrap in the southeast section of Markarth. Maybe he can lead us to this keystone before Lady Belaine acquires it. Despite occupying the ruins of their lost civilization, few Reachfolk want anything to do with dwarven devices. That's why Nolivan intrigued me. While you deal with him, I'll seek out Arana's rebels. If I can't find them, they will surely notice me. And so I shall, briefly. Kadok has a city full of Reachfolk to deal with, so I don't want to unduly distract him. Then I need to locate Arana. If we can get the rebels to work with us against the Grey Host, we'll have more than a fighting chance. You're an outsider. I guess when the Ard made us put up those scratchings he calls signs, it really worked. Attracted you right to my business. Unfortunately, we're closed right now. Come back later and bring your gold. Artzan. Sounds dwarven. I guess that's why you came to see me. No one in Markarth knows more about the Deep Folk and their scrap than old Nolivan. Now, keystones. That's another matter. Could refer to a wedge that supports an arch, maybe? Well, that is the other kind. You might be able to find one in Batharzel. I could sell you a map to the place, but it won't be cheap. Or if you do a simple job for me, I'll give you the map as payment. Quick work that would help me a great deal. Aye, more than cover it. Here's your map, leads right to Batharzel, I guarantee it. You might need to do a little searching to find the entrance, but that map will get you close. Now, please, I have so much work to do before I can open the shop. Hey you, Verandas has need of you. Veranda said he sent you to talk to the scrap dealer, and here you are. Good to see you, by the way. Anyway, Verandas needs to talk to you. Right away, he said. So let's go. He did. Here, let me mark a location on your map. That's Rebel's Retreat, what Arana and her people call their camp in the foothills. Verandas wants you to meet him there. You should move quickly. Verandas has a way with words, but he's still a verbose high elf vampire noble from High Rock, any and all of which can get you killed in the Reach. Funny you should mention that. Oh, he went out into the foothills all right, but before Verandas could find them, the Rebels found him. Seems to be working out, at least for the moment. What's to tell? It's a reach folk camp in the foothills. Probably the main base for the rebels, but I'm just guessing. I was with Verandas when the rebels surrounded us. I wanted to fight, but the Count held me back. That's when Arana appeared. Hang on, let me think. The camp set up inside an old Nord ruin. It's surprisingly sturdy for something that was abandoned a long time ago. The rebels seem to be running low on supplies. Food, weapons, armor. Well, her and Verandas did most of the talking. 
I'm not sure I trust the witch, but I trust Verandas. He says she's a friend. That's good enough for me. Well... Yeah. Ah, Hurana. Becomes my associate now. Aye, that one I know. Very well, Verandas. I'll speak to them. I see Verandas' word is good. He said I could treat with you, and here you are. The Count tells me that Lady Belaine and the Grey Host leader, Vada El Saran, seek some powerful relic the Arkthazand Keystone. Is that correct? Let me see your map. Yes, I know that name. But Dwarven mischief riddles the bones of the rage. It could be anywhere. Hmm. My mother called this place the Hissing Maze. Said it's full of mechanical monsters that guard a trove of silver. Three marks. Three places to search. All right. I'll help you in Verandas. But not before the spirits bless our alliance. I want you to undertake a ritual. If the spirits favor you, we'll face the Grey Host together. Positive thoughts, Harrier. Positive thoughts. 
Participate in the ritual. Then we will see what we will see. Without the blessings of the spirits, it would be unseemly for this alliance to go forward. The ritual begins with the preparation. Gather a Briarheart seed, a Hagraven's eye, and a handful of bright river shale. Check to the east, west, and south. Whenever different clans come together in a common purpose, we seek the blessings of the spirits to confirm we're doing the right thing. We will ask the hunter to bind our hearts, if he sees...
The Harrier returns, swift as a crow on the wing. I have prepared the ritual fire. Did you bring the components I requested? Well done, Harrier. Now, once we undertake this ritual, we will be bound by blood and spirit. It's a union stronger than stone and more eternal than the stars. Are you ready for such a commitment? Good. So am I. Let's hope the spirits feel the same way. Place the components in the fire and stand back. No matter what you see or hear, stand your ground and think about our alliance. Keep that purpose in your mind. Understand? Dark Hall, Hunt King. Two great packs seek the same full moon. Make them one, bound by common prey. Let Rach and Raven drink of the same dark blood. How your blessing, mighty Hercene! Send the sign and guide our hunt. Look, Hercene paints our quarry in smoke and stars. Our pact has been blessed, Harrier. The ritual was a success. Our union has been blessed by Hercene himself. I'm not certain what the spirits showed us. But I'll figure it out eventually. I always do. Are you ready to search for the Keystone now, Harrier? I think I know where to begin. Aye, Harrier. We're bound together now. And how else will you find anything in those forsaken depths? I think the sky tail we saw in the fire, the snake, will point the way. Once I figure out how it connects to all this, that is. That's what we call the shapes and the stars. Constellations is your word, I think. Some of my sisters can read the stars the way you read a book. See the future, learn the truth in every twinkle. I don't have the knack. It's fire and bones for me. We made a pact, and Hercene blessed it. He put us on the scent, and I plan to track it to the end. Besides... Without someone who knows the rage, the map's useless. You know what monsters hate? Silver. According to the stories, the Tharzel is full of it. I need to speak to Tafern before I set out. Go on, Harrier. I'll find you on the trail. So the legends say. A treasure trove of the pure metal. Enough to arm my warriors with weapons to slay every vampire and werewolf that marches with the Grey Host. And your keystone, too, with any luck.
No carrier. A plaque. Let's examine it. That's a sky tale. We call it the Hunter, but I think you would refer to it as the Thief. These plaques are as old as these hills, Harrier. Take a look. That's the Witch in the Stars, or the Mage, as you call it. I think the dwarves placed these plaques, but no one really knows. See what that... That depicts the sky tale of the headsman. I think your people call it the warrior. I knew it would come to me, eventually. The ritual, the plaques, the map. It finally makes some sense now. You missed it too. What a pair we make. What did Hercene show us? He revealed the snake, which I thought was just a substitute for our prey. But the sky tales on the plaques, the witch, the headsman, and the hunter, they're the rich guardians. Look at your map. See how the marks form the shape of the snake and the stars? And see how one mark is missing? If I place it here, we see the snake in its entirety. That's where we need to go. As for the rich guardians, well, we'll see. Storytellers say the dwarves knew the stars better than anyone. Strange passion for people who lived underground, eh? Anyway, let's get to this final location. The snake in the stars is the corruptor, the enemy. If permitted, it would consume the lesser stars without hesitation. Luckily, the guardians, the headsman, the witch, and the hunter stand strong and defend the lesser stars.
This must be the spot. Just look at all this dwarf craft. The entrance to Batharsel must be around here somewhere. Always a trick with dwarves, though. Look at these pillars. More sky tales. Turn those stones in the right order. And I think we'll find our door. This looks promising. Indeed. A dwarven lock of some kind, I suspect. That looks right to me. Something harrier. You hear that? Well done. That did it. Wait. <laughs> Something's not right. A darkness. Arana, are you all right? The door opened, but something happened to Arana. She mentioned something about her darkness. We should check on her, but we also need to determine that the keystone we seek is here. Lady Belaine has had more time to research the Arkzan keystone than we did. She may have already known about his location and the hidden door, or she may have known a different way to get inside. Then again, she may be looking somewhere else entirely. I certainly hope not. Between the Dwarven scrap dealer and Arana's ritual, everything seems to point to this location. I only mean that Lady Belaine may be operating off of a totally different set of suppositions. Dwarven keystones not only provide access to forbidden or otherwise sealed areas, they also tend to radiate ancient magic. The uses for such a relic are potentially limitless. I won't be able to determine more until I see the keystone itself. The door opened, but something happened to Irana. She mentioned something about her dark. Lady Belaine has had more. I certainly. I certainly hope. Wendis and I can cover more ground on our own. Let's find the keystone. This is Batharzel, eh? Mind your feet, Harrier. Every bit of metal in here means to do you harm.
never seen dwarf craft like this. Must have been chiefs who lived here. Chiefs are grand metal workers. out of the ground. It's an entire city under the earth, hiding something worse beneath. Close to something, Harrier. Something over. The tales were true. Silver. I'll send crafters down to carve it out, and we deal with the rest of these metal beasts. I 
hear something. Wailing and scratching at the walls. There's darkness all around. There. I must be the Arkhan Keystone. I don't hear any clanking behind us. I think we're clear. Curse that Lady Belaine. I thought if we could acquire the Keystone, we could finally get the upper hand. I'm tired of snapping at the heels of the Grey Host. I want to go for the throat. Maybe. But you have to go alone from here, Harrier. There's a fork in the path, and we need to go our separate ways. At least for a while. I need to get back to the surface. I need to see the sky, feel the wind on my skin. I'll rally the warriors and start preparing for the fight to come. Protect your heart, Harrier. This darkness will lead it to you too, if you let it. Keep an eye on Verandas, Harrier. Rada al Saron was toying with him. He's got plans for your friend, I think. It's hard to explain. Wendis, think this through. No. My friend, I thought I could catch Rada and Lady Belaine. Convince him to... Anyway, I'm sorry I failed this. They acquired the Keystone and escaped across the river, toward that dwarven structure in the distance. Unlike Gwendis, we can't rush off without a plan. Clear heads will win the day, mark my words. This contest is far from over. With a fresh trail to follow and new allies at our side, victory is closer than ever. And much of that is because of you. This must be Blackreach. 
I've read the legends, but I never thought it was real. The stories hardly do it justice. Perhaps one day I'll have an opportunity to explore it more fully. For now, we have work to do. Are you still with me, my friend? What are you doing down here, brother? Right 